Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, Kilos and Cosplay. My name is Sydney, and today is, of course, another wonderful Figure Friday. We have another pretty smaller list going on, so it should be another short video, but there are some really good ones. Like, I'm honestly pretty ecstatic about a good chunk of this lineup. But before we get into that, I do want to just do a quick little announcement and talk about a few things. So first thing is um, my first Patreon only video will be up um, either today or tomorrow, but I will be getting that up this weekend for sure. And I'm very excited. So if you are interested in more exclusive, not safe for work content, feel free to check it out. I always link my Patreon in the bio. Um, and if you want to join that degeneracy over there, I really appreciate it. It's completely optional though. So don't feel pressure <laughs> to do so, but that is just some extra spicy content if you are interested. I just want to also talk about that I feel like my energy is just not going to be great for a while. Um, I'm just in a really not good place mentally and work is just ungodly stressful right now. And I'm just really trying to like figure out what to do. Like I just am like I actually have taken some vacation time to try to like mentally clear my head and I'm just like I was so looking forward to it but I'm still so mentally like miserable so I just know there's something deeper than just work stress or just life stress in general and I feel like my content is going to suffer because of it um I'm still gonna do figure Fridays but I might take a step back depending on unless I can get my head kind of cleared from doing some other videos and other content. I just feel like I can't put my all into it and I just, I almost can't think. <laughs> like I feel like I'm really struggling to form words right now because I just, I am just in so much anxiety and stress and my depression and just things aren't going well for me. <laughs> Long story short. So why I get that straightened out, <laughs> I'll still be posting my figure Fridays because they're pretty easy and I do very much enjoy doing them. But my other content might be a little just not there because I'm just, I'm, I'm just not doing well. <laughs> so I, I'm sorry about all that. So I don't know when, I just want to get back to like posting my regular content too, like once a week, but I just, I can't, I, I can't right now. <laughs> So why get that straightened out, just please bear with me, but I hope you do at least enjoy these for your Fridays because those will definitely stay and I will be trying to do my best to keep up with posting like pictures of my not safe for work figures on Patreon and stuff like that. Just try to take whatever little energy I have and at least try to do something because <laughs> I don't want to like completely like cut myself, but I do think I, I, I need a break. I want this to sound like a woe is me throwing myself a pity party, I'll be fine. I, I've gone through therapy, I've learned how to kind of like cope with my <laughs> issues, but I definitely think just taking a step away and not putting pressure on myself is going to be the best thing for me. Um, I'll be fine, I'll, I'll get through it, I always do. Um, but I just want to throw that out there just because I don't know how well <laughs> the rest of my content will be. But just uh, please bear with me and I promise I'll come back even better. <laughs> I feel like I really brought down the mood. <laughs> but enough of that sad talk. Let's get into something fun and enjoyable and talk about these beautiful figures. Okay, so we actually don't have any Nendroids, but there are a few like pop-up parades. So we'll talk about those. The first one is this Kurino? Kurino? Um, I don't know really anything about the series, but I do know a lot of people like this series, so I wanted to mention it in case you are wanting an affordable figure of this character. Um, I will say she is really cute. I do really like it, and from what I know of this character, I feel like this is a very fitting, like, face for her. So it seems very adorable, but in my opinion, pop-up parades are not worth pre-ordering unless you like know you're going to be completely in love with it no matter how it turns out because I just feel pop-up parades have about like a 90% disappointment rate <laughs> as opposed to the good ones like I feel like it's so rare when it's like wow 
no that, that that's a good one like you guys really nailed it i feel like it's just like gotten worse and worse and worse the more i see coming out so i don't think papa parades are hard to pick up on the aftermarket or even if you just wait till they release and i'm sure you can snag it from somewhere so i personally would wait on these but i will say she's very cute and feel like this character this would definitely be one to watch out for and then we have another papa parade the black rock shooter one um, she's been getting a lot of figures um i i should watch the show <laughs> it feels like she's got some really cool ones and i really do like her overall character design and i will say this is probably one of the more dynamic papa parades that i have seen and like i love it honestly i think this is a really good but again, with the success rate not being amazing, with the quality control and them actually turning out like they're supposed to, I would wait on this. But I will say she's honestly a really, really nice pop up parade. So very dynamic and a good affordable option. But I will say she does have like a lot of other figures. So don't know if it's a necessity, but I will say they do a really good job at least trying to add something dynamic to her. All right, we're already on to the scale figures. Uh, I think we'll go from my least favorite to my favorites. Cause we got, we got quite a lineup here. So starting off with my least favorite, but I will say this is a good one. It's not just cause it's my least favorite. It's only because I really don't know anything about Overlord. It's a good figure and why it's, and why I'm putting it as my least favorite is the cost that they are charging. It is a cool piece. Amazing. If you are an Overlord fan, this is a this is a statement, I will say, and I love anything with like thrones. So I do love it for that reason and that reason only. But I gotta say lately the F next line has been even worse <laughs> than it ever has been price-wise um i almost want to say like quality control has also kind of gone down i i don't think i've bought one in a while but i'm seeing a lot of people be kind of disappointed with it lately but they are charging a ungodly amount of money 45,000 yen like i mean you gotta really love this character for <laughs> that to be justifiable it is cool it is an amazing piece but I think that they at most should have only been charging maybe a 30,000 yen. 45 just seems ungodly <laughs> ridiculous because it, I feel like all the other throne ones aren't even that much money. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't feel like they usually are that expensive. And then up next, we do have this original character, the Sailor Shump one and it is by union creative union creative is not a company i trust to also <laughs> union creative is not a company i trust to deliver so they are somebody that i would definitely wait for the product to come out and then consider picking up later um i will say this is cute but it's so boring and i just feel like it could very well end up having leaning problems but maybe not because I mean she's very small like very petite so I don't know but it's cute I will say but I think it's going for about yeah 18,000 yen which isn't bad but it is a very simple figure with no guarantee it's going to look good in the end like the prototypes can always look great but you don't know until the product actually comes out so it's not a horrible price but like I would cap it off at maybe 100 max just because it looks incredibly simple. So I don't know. It's just, it's just not, <laughs> the price is just bad. And like, even with what somebody said in the comments, like the big issue is they're very high priced for what you're going to get and you cannot guarantee it. And then they do often see Union Creative figures on Ami Ami, brand new and heavily discounted. So I think these are always something worth waiting on to determine. Unless you're like 100% like in love with this and you want it for sure, I still think you could guarantee getting it without pre-ordering her. But she's cute nonetheless. And then up next we have another Maiden Abyss. It's a Nanachi, 
technology. Um, these are very cute and what's very unique about these is they are flocked. I don't know if every single one is but it's very interesting. Um, I do think you do have an exclusive bonus if you order from the site directly. It is a KD Collect one. Um, and it's cool. Like, I will say that like, you can kind of see, like, the overall figure is flocked. But the only thing I kind of hate about, like, flocked things, because I've had, like, flocked Funko Pops or something like that, it just it feels like it's such a dust magnet <laughs> and it's impossible to get the dust off of it. So, ooh. I wouldn't like it just for that reason, but it is cute. I will say all the Maiden Abyss figures are cute. I still haven't watched the series yet, but I will say their prices are not good. <laughs> for overall, what easy, simple figure? Um, 27,000 yen is a lot. I know that's like our era of figures now is like ungodly prices, but like that's too much. and. I don't know if we're ever gonna see it ever change at this point, but it, it makes it hard to be a figure collector. And then up next, they do have from Holo Live the Subaru one. This is uh, by Kotobukiya, the 17 scale version. I will say this is very cute and very well done. I don't pick up any like really VTuber stuff, so I would I'm passing on it myself. But I will say I love how everything looks like it's actually flowing and like at, like moving if, if she was really dumping like the hat popping off. And they did such a good job on that. Like that looks so good. <laughs> she looks adorable. The two face plates, very cute. Like, everything looks so good. And like the base is simple, but like I feel like it fits it so well. She's so cute. Like, this is adorable. Like, everything, like, bouncing up, like, looking like it's actually moving is so cool. And, like, honestly, the paint job looks beautiful. I think this is such a good one. Like, Kurobukia does really good. They are one of my favorite manufacturers because I feel like they do such a good job but stay pretty affordable. So, I, I can see them delivering on this. Like, this is so cute. Up next, we have the Data Live uh, uh, Yoshino in the swimsuit version. She is one seventh. I think this is cute. My thing, I love the base. I love when they draw something in the sand. That is just adorable. But I feel like this doesn't really, other than like obviously the puppet, look like her character. The base. the base is literally my favorite part of this whole thing and I do like that the puppet is matching her. I don't understand why they didn't do like like green instead of blue though because I feel like it doesn't really look like her colors and design. To be fair, I haven't really watched Ayla, I've watched a few episodes, but even I think it doesn't look like that character because this character I feel is pretty like recognizable with their outfits so I feel like taking away like some of the signature colors just makes it not look good <laughs> but that base is too cute I'm just obsessed with that that's like the only thing I really care about here <laughs> but I will say um any figure that I've ever gotten in like the KD collect line um I've always really liked up next, we have another KD collect one, but this time we have Aqua in the racing version. Okay, so I absolutely hated the prototype. I hated the illustration art for it, but I will say this figure is really good. <laughs> I still don't like it enough, like, I personally wouldn't get it, but I also don't collect, like, racing figures. But I can't hate on it anymore, like, that's good. <laughs> but. The clothing just has that beautiful like shine so it really does look like that type of material that you would use. I don't know what the technical term for it would be but like it looks legit and her face is beautiful. I think they did a good job on her body sculpt. The umbrella looks really nice. Her face is just I love it. I love that winking face and her hair it looks gorgeous like the shading beautiful. I could see them really delivering on this but like 
she looks really really good like look at that that hair is beautiful they did an amazing job I, I take my hate back i still won't be picking it up but i do take my hate back on this figure because it it's a good figure <laughs> Up next, we have the girls' frontline R93 in her Lucky Stars holiday version. So we have more beach ones. I will say this is very cute. It's very simple, but very cute. And she has a 1-6 scale, which you don't see too often, I feel. <laughs> um, but no, this is actually a very nice piece. Um, that basket looks so realistic. I love it so much. I think her face looks gorgeous and like I love like her eyes contrasting with her hair. She looks cute. I love her. She's adorable. I the translucent type of jacket looks really good. Like everything about this is just so nice. Uh, personally I'm trying to cut back on how many characters I get that I don't know because ooh <laughs> pre-orders are getting rough out there. But this one is very cute. I will be passing as much as I do love her. I very much am excited to see her in other people's collections. Um, not sure how Neon Max is as a manufacturer, but it looks like they're going to be putting out some beauties. I mean, they've already put out some really good ones, so I think they'll do a pretty good job. I'm very intrigued because I'd be interested in actually picking up some of their other works. I just realized I forgot this pop-up parade. <laughs> um, it's, it's, honestly, she looks like a scale like this one's actually really good the heavily armed high school girls sheet um as far as i know this is just an original illustration like an original line um and i will say this is probably one of the more dynamic and unique pop-up parades that i have seen and i think it's interesting that they are doing like original characters in that too so excited to see that um very curious on how she would be leaning wise as the years go um, but honestly, this is probably one of the better looking pop-up parades that they have made. And I'm very interested to see if they deliver on her. Um, next we have a few re-releases and one of them is the Toradora, um, Taiga in the wedding dress version by Char Annie, or Char Annie. It is a 1-7 scale. I'll be honest, I don't like this figure. I never have. <laughs> Um, but I know it's a very well-loved one, so if you missed it and you want your chance to get it, this is the perfect opportunity. I just don't like it. I don't feel like it looks like her, unless, I mean, it could be more accurate to the manga. I don't know. I haven't read the manga. <laughs> but I just don't feel like it looks like her anime-wise. I don't like the dress. I don't like whatever this is <laughs> here. I, I'm not a fan, and I just have not been a fan. I just think it does not look that good <laughs> um i will say like the i wish they would actually show the base um but if we go to other people's ones you can kind of see the base and it's interesting i'm like now you know why her shoes are off it makes sense that she's walking she's walking on the beach but this is so weird i don't know i don't like it <laughs> maybe i'm just being a hater but I do not like it. And at least, I mean, she didn't really go up in like the aftermarket um, or the re-release, not the aftermarket. She didn't go up really that much in the re-release. So this is a perfect opportunity if you missed her and you would want her. Um, another easy pass for me, <laughs> but you know, she's very well loved for a reason. All right. So then we have from uh, Azulane, um, Prince, Prince. Ujin. Um, this is a 1-7 scale by Alter, and I will say it does look really good. If I had the space of the money for it, I would absolutely pre-order her. She is beautiful. Like, I feel like even her prototype ones don't do justice to how good she looks, because even I'm tempted, because usually I hate the ones that have like these type of like support pegs, like obviously you have to have them, especially with this figure. But I'm not a big fan, but looking at some of these people, like, like, people on here who have taken these gorgeous pictures, it makes me want to buy it. <laughs> like, these are better than the prototype pictures. I will say she has made a bit of a jump <laughs> in price. It has been, has it only been a year since she's been released? Huh. She was released this year. Okay. 
um, but she is very well loved. She has a quite the hits here on my figure collection. So it is a gorgeous piece, I will say. Like, even I was tempted. I just, I can't justify it. <laughs> but my god, she is gorgeous. I love it so much. Like, that's, that's a beautiful piece. That is a statement if you can get one. And then another re-release from Fate Grand Order. We do have this beautiful 1-7th bunny. She... This is a very, also very popular one, and it is popular for a reason. It's gorgeous. I believe it's also by Alter. Yep. Alter also made it. Alter does a fantastic job. They know what they're doing. I love that you can kind of see, like, it, it looks so realistic with the suit. Like, with those type of kind of, like, rough, like, rough folds or... <laughs> I don't know what that would, like, that would be. But the wrinkles. The wrinkles <laughs> look really good. And this is a gorgeous piece. Like, her hair is beautiful she sculpted really nice like look at that suit that suit is insane they did such a good job on it and like her tail is so fluffy she's so pretty there is also a one fourth scale of this too by freeing so we'll see if they follow suit and do like maybe a bare leg release but i will say this is very beautiful um i think more people actually like the one seventh as opposed to the one fourth and to be fair I don't blame them. I think it does look really, really good. And then I know I have talked about this one before, and I've definitely talked about how much I love this line, but I do want to announce that uh, Yatsuba is up for pre-order now, so if you are planning to collect this line or just collect her, it is your time to shine. I think these are so beautiful. They're beautiful 1-6 scales, and honestly, quite affordable for how gorgeous they look. I just wish they had like connective bases, but these are so nice i'm obsessed with them like they're beautiful they're, ugh, the clothes look so realistic it's insane all right moving into some one fourths from uh me miyomi miyomi <laughs> i don't know how to say that company it, it's just every time i think spongebob when i see that i think of doodle bob and it's it's not right <laughs> but we do have a beautiful one from um, Azure Lane. This is a beautiful piece. Okay, so I did end up fighting the bullet and pre-ordering her. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I feel like she really does only like look good from one angle. Okay, two angles. <laughs> um, because like she is kind of looking off into the distance, but like if you get this like little base part, I think that'd be so cool and like I love all the details to this like suit it looks really good it's so pretty like I like if you get that base that's so cool so I did end up buying the bullet and pre-ordering her but now it makes me kind of want the rest of them like and just have this whole complete line I did not pre-order any of like the dukes or the duke of york and the prince of wales ones of kicking myself i know they did a re-release of the duke of york so i do plan on waiting and seeing and if i can snag pre-order or just pick her up maybe as soon as she releases hopefully so i think i'm going to like i didn't get them at first because i'm like i don't have room but the more i started looking at them and the more i started looking at like people's pictures like i'm like oh my god so now I feel dedicated to it, but now I'm going to feel dedicated to also picking up this other character here. Like, and I just want to recreate this like whole picture, but like, I, that's too expensive and too much room. But they're really good. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see where they go, but like, oh my god. I'm starting to feel swooned. I will say like, this is also kind of off topic of what we have, but this piece is actually really good. I just think it kind of looks awkward, so I ended up passing on it, and I still think it looks just kind of awkward anyways, even in this picture. But, like, everybody else looks so good. <laughs> it's all so cute. So, Azure Lane, of course, is really swooping me in, as they do. And now I'm being a sucker, and I'm going to buy these just because of how gorgeous they are looking. And then, I don't know when this one was talked about, or I just feel like I haven't really seen much about it, but they are doing a ray from uh, you know, Evangelion, so, um, but they are doing ray from Evangelion in a one-fourth, like, actual plunge suit kind of look. Like, 
I wish they would do more characters, like more female characters in their original outfits like this. Like I would love to see that. So because it's like I do like the bunny figures, but I sometimes do just want them in their original outfit. So I hope to see more of this. Because I feel like obviously you see that happen with like all of the like male figures. They get their like original looks, but not so much the female ones. So I would love to see more of this. I just think that's great. And lastly, there is an original character by Freeing. Um, it's Sophia. So she is up for pre-order. And I'm very torn on this one because she is very expensive. I think she's 40,000 yen. So I don't know if I'll pre-order. She's something I might pick up later, but like I keep looking at her and I'm just like falling in love. <laughs> she does have her sister one and that's interesting. <laughs> but the outfits are very unique. I will say, whoa, wait. Can you switch out their ears? Or their heads? Whoa, interesting, okay. But I do love this because I love this like kind of backwards suit. I think they're so good. Like do you just get like a peek of something? I think it's so cool. I'm not a big fan of the bow, I will say, but I love everything else. Like this detailing is beautiful. Like I, I don't know why I want it just because of the badge, like the work badge <laughs> is like really winning me over. And it's like this picture alone is like the reason I'm like, oh my God, that actually is really cool. So I don't know in this picture, I, I do really like this one too. It looks really good. I don't know if I'll end up picking it up, but I'm very tempted. I didn't like them at first, but like the more I started looking at it, I was like, oh my god. It's something I'm gonna like look for on the aftermarket and probably won't pick up. Like, also like why didn't they give them like tights though? Like it's like a, just a solid design, which is kind of interesting. But also if you're gonna be charging 40,000 yen, you better put real tights on. <laughs> I would love to know what you guys think about this bunny because it's it's really good, but I don't know if it's 40,000 yen good because you can get some really nice binding and native bunnies. And this one's not like a cast off. And I feel like if you're gonna also charge that, it better be a cast off. <laughs> all right guys, that is all I have for you today. I had a cute little lineup. I really enjoyed a lot of the figures. Um, let me know in the comments, which ones are you looking forward to? Or if there was any I missed and you wanna talk about them. Also let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.